Today, I'm going to show you how to transfer and copy your text and SMS messages from one Android smartphone to another. The first challenge to accomplish this task is making sure that your data is safe and that you trust the app or service isn't doing anything nefarious with that information. For many, that usually means opting for a solution from a well-known company that you trust. So, if you're using a smartphone from Samsung, then I recommend using their Smart Switch application. However, if you don't own one of those devices, or if you don't trust Samsung in general, then you'll want to watch through this entire video as today I'll be using a free and open source application to copy all of the text messages that I have from this device over to a new Android smartphone. Today, I'll be copying my SMS text messages from my current daily driver, which is the Red Magic 10 Pro, and I'll be moving those texts over to a new daily driver which is gonna be the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL with Graphene OS installed on it. So I'm gonna be using this application. It's called SMS Import Slash Export, and it's a highly recommended application that's currently available on F-Droid. The source code is also available on GitHub, and it's actually a companion project of another tool called SMS Dash db which is a Linux project that can build a SQL Lite database out of multiple collections of SMS and MMS messages. And then it works when those are in various formats as well. It's a really nice project that was initially released about five years ago. I'll have all of these links down below so that you can quickly and easily find them when you need. And I'll be downloading this APK file from F-Droid, but it doesn't matter where you get that APK file for the SMS import export application. After the app has been downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up and you're gonna get a message about the permissions. So grant those permissions and you'll be brought to a menu that looks like this. So this has been installed on the host smartphone, which is the device that you want to get the SMS text messages from. And I'm gonna use this to back up all of the texts that I have on the device. So to do that, I'm going to tap on the export messages button, and it's gonna ask where you want to save this file. It does not matter where it's saved. You can store it in a cloud storage service, or you can save it to the internal storage and then manually copy it over to your device. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that it has a name that you are familiar with so that it is easy for you to find when you need it. We're just going to tap on the save button right here you're gonna see how many SMS and MMS messages are being exported. You're just gonna wait until you get a message that tells you how many have been exported and how long it actually took. And here we have the new phone where the SMS and text messages are being imported to. So we have that file this is the backup that we just created with the SMS import and export app. You can see we have that application installed right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and tap on import messages. It's gonna tell you that SMS import export must be the default SMS app. So we're gonna tap on okay. And if you get a message like this asking about special permissions, then we can actually do that by going to the app info page for the 
SMS import export app. Tapping on the three dot menu icon at the top right and then allowing that. Now, when we go into permissions, we can grant access to those SMS. Let's go ahead and go back. Again, we're going to go to import. We're going to change our default SMS app over to the SMS import export set as default. It's going to ask us to pick the file that we use to back up all of our text messages. And now it's going to import them. Just like before, we're going to wait. We're going to let the app import all of those messages. It will take a little bit longer than it took to export them, but we're just going to wait and let the app do all the work for us. When it's done, you'll see how long it took, how many messages were imported. And from here, we can minimize that app. Then we're gonna go and find the application that you want to be your default SMS and texting app. If you don't get a prompt, you should get some sort of alert asking you to set it as the default. And we can just change that right from here. Once the app is set as the default, it's going to load all of those text messages that we just imported. And that's all there is to it. I did block out those details of all of my text messages, but I went through them and saw they were copied perfectly. And you can see just how quick and easy it is to actually move your SMS messages over to a new device. And since we were using a free and open source application, you yourself can look at the source code, or you can trust that others have done the same. That way, you know that your data is not being leaked and sent off to some remote server somewhere. I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot to see so many of you watching all the way to the end. I hope that you are all able to enjoy the rest of the day. If you would, don't forget to give this video a like, tap on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.